everyone. Today we're going to look at the Sony NEX5N. Beautiful little camera. Some amazing image quality out of this little guy. Change lenses. The one thing it doesn't have is a hot shoe or a sync cord. There's no easy way to fire a flash. Now it does have a pop of flash comes with the camera. And you think to yourself, hey, I've seen a little device that you just plug into whatever flash you're using and it fires the flash when it sees another flash. Well, this camera fires a pre-flash every time. There's no way to turn it off, at least that I found. They could fix that in firmware, but they chose to let this have these multiple flashes. So what happens with the regular slave, like this one, it fires the, the studio flashes on that first pre-flash and it doesn't sync up. So even though the flash fires, it doesn't fire when it should. I found this little guy. This is the Wayne Products L8D. D for digital. There's an L8. It's going to be exactly the same as that other one I just showed you. It's not going to fire at the right time. This digital one is programmed to ignore the pre-flashes and I've had cameras where it doesn't quite work there's either too many pre-flashes or something else and they don't sync up but this little guy does work with this camera so let's go ahead and give it a try I just got my Norman studio pack this thing's ancient plug that right in there and that's gonna fire our lights there they so are. pop up my flash I'm set to manual manual mode here M and I'm shooting at 1 one hundredth of a second I'll go up to 1 25th and F16 so we'll just focus here and you saw the f you probably heard hopefully you saw the flash go off but what happens darkness it's not sinking at the right time so let's go ahead and switch those out just plug this right, all yeah. the uh, standard style optical slave we'll go ahead and focus again and the flashes went off again however this time as you can see perfect we synced right up we have a nice exposure a lot of light coming off of this wall here works pretty darn well take a few shots so there you have it there is a way to fire strobes with the NEX 5N. In studio there are other versions of the digital slave. I've seen a few on eBay, a few on Amazon. I know Wayne makes one that is, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry guys. Uh, they make one that has the uh, phono plug, so if you have mono lights or newer style flashes, they have the household version that I was using here. They also have a phono version of the digital slave, and it should work just as good. I haven't tried it out personally. Um, one other thing to think about is if you're firing multiple lights, maybe you don't have a power pack, maybe you're using a mono light such as an Alien B, they have slaves built in, but they're going to have the same problem you have here, is they'll fire the flashes at the wrong time. You could plug in two of these digital slaves, that may work, or you could rig up a cord, hook them to, to one slave, or lastly what I'd like to try is to build a cord to hook that slave up to a radio trigger so perhaps next time that's what we'll try out so thanks for watching be sure to check out reflectedpixel.com get your fine art prints and uh, education right there thanks